how did you wind up on the West Wing radar? Well, how did that happen? After I left Noise Funk, I came to LA. Yes. Trying to create space for myself. I did do one movie uh, named She's All That. I've heard of that. You know, and then uh, and then about a year or so went by and I didn't work and my money was getting really low. And I said to my friend Freddie Prince Jr., I said, Freddie, if I don't get a job in these next few months, I'm either coming to live with you or I'm going back home to New Jersey. Uh, thankfully, though, during that time, uh, a casting director had remembered me from an audition a year before and a role came up. He said, I know the perfect actor for this. He searched me out because I had just been dropped by my agent and was at a new agency. Mm -hmm. He searched me out and called me in. His name was Kevin Scott. And the role that he called me in for was Charlie Young on The West Wing. I read for Aaron Sorkin and Tommy Shlami uh, once and then I got called back and I read for Aaron Sorkin, Tommy Shlami and John Wells. And next thing I know, I was on this soundstage with Martin Sheen and Rob Lowe walking wow. around. It was, <laughs> I was like, this is insane. Because then a few months later, you know, the show came out and it was a hit. Oh yeah. And then we were invited to DC. So I'm next thing I know, I'm here seeing the president of the United States and Martin Sheen's right there and Rob Lowe and there goes Ted Kennedy. And it's like, this is <laughs> just like four months ago, I was just about broke. <laughs> and now here I am. Actually, that first season two, we actually filmed on Pennsylvania Avenue, we filmed a basket uh, with Jawan Howard. Because he was probably playing for the Wizards at the time. He was playing for the Wizards the at the time. And we worked, we wrote him into the show where he was a Secret Service man. And he was like, a, <laughs> I missed that episode. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Damn. So, I mean, it was so surreal for me just to be able to, how quickly things can change to soon, like almost having to go back home or moving with Freddie to now being on Pennsylvania Avenue and playing basketball with Jawan Howard. Yeah. pretty. And then surreal. being on a set with Martin Sheen. Exactly. I mean, you were still, you know, early enough in your career. I imagine, did you pick his brain about anything? Or what was it I like mean, with Martin Sheen on a Martin set of really the West Wing? Martin taught me how to honor the moment and honor the gift that you have, honor the experience that you have, mm -hmm. to make sure that everyone is seen and that everyone matters, which really kind of resonates going back to the expressway because that still is something that rings true inside of me. Yes. Of we all have a gift, we all have purpose, and we all come together to make a difference. And Martin would not let anyone be disrespected on our set. He would not, even if we were out there filming in, in public, he made sure he spent time with everyone and, and really engaged with everyone who wanted to have a connection with him because everyone and everything matters. And that, that really stayed with me throughout the course of my journey so far. Dulé Hill here on the Rich Eisen Show. The Express, where you just mentioned, with you on PBS. Check it out uh, every Tuesday, four-part series. Ballers, who was, who was the who were some of the cameos that uh, when you were on the set there, any sports stars that you were oh my with gosh, on, on don't that get, show? Oh my gosh! Pretty much. Well, you, know, you mentioned Dwayne Johnson, so I yeah, imagine. there were there were a whole bunch. But here's the thing: like my storyline, I didn't interact with a lot of those cats. Yeah, you know. So that's you. You pulled that one out on me. I could. I had to have done my research. The main thing I was focused on was uh was Jasmine Simon who played Julie Green. Mm -hmm. You know, I got Julie you. Green. She ended up becoming my wife. So you know. <laughs> 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 and also my co-producer on this project so I mean, it's like so uh, that's so that's you where were, my focus was you were at. the ultimate baller i was the ultimate baller yes i have i have won at the balling yes i have <laughs> he was laser focused you see what i'm saying he took, he took the expressway everybody. i took hey, the no. expressway right that's right that's what i know what i'm trying to do fantastic <laughs> <laughs> the cameo happened to be two children is what you're saying exactly right okay. you know, it's, it's, wow. and I, i'm gonna give you one more connection sure because i was in the room waiting to come out here and yeah. i saw that you got your masters from northwestern yes sir my daughter kennedy hill where does she go northwestern yep she great play, she plays volleyball there great awesome that's it's right. a great spot it really is a great spot it's a magnificent school yeah for sure see? so we're staying connected rich that's how we're doing it man. okay very good and you see catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free